Always make sure there's three amp fuse fitted. This will blow the fuse rather than the PCB or the boilers. When wiring, always take care because you'll come across a lot of jammed terminal boxes. Changing a motorised valve, thread the new cable into the wiring centre and then change the cables one at a time. This will prevent any accidents of miswiring the terminals or getting lost. Also, what you'll find is as well, the grey is the life supply to the motorised valve. The brown is the life from the stat. The orange is the life to the pump and the boiler. To remove the head, undo the screw that's at the top or the bottom outside the motorised valve. So, if you've got no heating or hot water, put it in demand and then move this arm. This one is closed. You can manually move it open and jam it on. There you are, it'll force the heating or the hot water through to the cylinder or the radiators. So the heating staying on, you've got a little switch just there. As the arm moves the motor, it pressures the flow switch down. It's a little micro switch. If the heat source is constantly working, your boiler is constantly firing up, it could be because this switch is jammed. Should your motorised valve pass heat when it's not in demand, maybe the radiators are getting hot or the cylinders uh, heating the water up, take the actual head off and underneath drain the heating system down, check the ball. You can get a service kit for the Honeywell valves. The ball inside the motorised valve, so that moves across opening and closing it. So if you have heating or hot water coming on when it's not in demand, it could be the fact that the ball is perished and the heat source is passing through so you could put your hot water on the rads get hot or vice versa. This is a Y plan system. B for bloody hot water for the bath. A for heating, A, B is for the flow. So that's a Y plan. Here we have an S plan. S plan, so you got your heating and you have your cylinder thermostat. Well, thanks for watching. Keep subscribing, and we're we'll doing more videos later. I'm Jonathan Hallam. Thanks for watching.